Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Are you guys ready for another hoof video? Clearly 5282 is. So without further ado, let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at this foot and I know what some of you are already thinking. Get the hose out and wash that foot off before you start. But the thing is, is I've got a lot of hoof material to remove before I can really properly clean this foot. So I'm going to do that first. So at first glance, it appears like we've got a white line defect here and we've got some dermatitis behind that once again. So let's get back to work on this, remove some more of this loose stuff and get it cleaned up properly. The next step, now that I've got this foot shaped up, is to remove the loose hoof from around the defect itself. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about whether or not this process is painful for the cow. And really, if you're careful about it, this is not a painful process. The lesions themselves, the defects themselves, yes, of course, those are painful, which is why we're intervening and doing these procedures, but it's really not a painful process. Cutting this hoof is very similar to cutting our fingernails. If I were to be causing her pain, you would see her jerking her foot around, but she doesn't do that because the more careful you are, the less uh, irritation you cause when working on these. As I get these lesions more opened up and more exposed, that's the time that I start uh, cleaning away debris and stuff. That allows me to see the margins of what needs to be removed, as well as starting to clean this lesion so I can get multiple uh, attempts at cleaning it and spraying it to loosen up any debris that's there and any of the film, uh, biofilm that's present from the uh, bacteria that's causing this digital dermatitis here. So that's why I do that. And now let's take a closer look at this foot. We zoom in here. You can see the original defect along that edge there is caused um, a crack which now has been colonized by dermatitis and that's we've got these lesions here. That's digital dermatitis caused by a, a spirochete, a treponema bacteria that basically uh, erodes and causes this the lesion you see here. So now I'm going to get a block on this other claw and what that's going to do, if you've seen a lot of my other videos, you know this already, but it's going to elevate that injured claw off the floor, keep her from walking on that so that that lesion has time to heal. I'm also going to apply uh, a salicylic acid wrap to this and what that's going to do is kill that bacteria that caused that digital dermatitis and um, that way that corium, that layer that produces the new hoof can begin to, uh, to produce new horn again. Um, but stay tuned after this because you're going to be able to see the follow-up of this 29 days later and see exactly what this salicylic acid treatment does. I've still got a little bit more loose material to remove here around those lesions, and then we'll give it uh, one last spray down, get that foot wrapped with salicylic acid, and then we'll jump right in to the 29-day follow-up.
I get quite a few questions about wraps keeping the foot clean and and honestly a wrap is not there to keep the foot clean that wrap is there to protect debris perhaps from getting in but mainly to hold that uh, salicylic acid in place just for a short amount of time I want that wrap to come off uh, day two at max because other after that it's just going to become soiled and not do any good so let's let her go see how she walks and we'll get right into that follow-up So at first glance, it appears like it's healing up pretty nicely. The dark coloration you see, that's not a problem. That's just simply staining along this edge here. That's where that dermatitis was. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just clean this area up really well uh, so you can get a much better view of where that lesion was, and we'll make sure there's no dermatitis still present there. Now, if I wasn't filming this for you, I would normally stop right about now. I can tell that there's no dermatitis present left anymore on this foot, and it's healing really nicely. So I would stop right here. But because I'm filming it, I'm going to give you, I'm going to take a little more off just here, just so you can see how well this foot has uh, actually healed. As we swing in here, you can get a good look at the sole. And that's along this line here is where that digital dermatitis was. So I'll swing back, take a look at what it looked like at the time. And back now today. So we've got it all healed back in. This sole now should be back to roughly a quarter inch thick, which typically you could bear weight on. But because we're in August, we have a lot of hot temperatures here in August. Cows spend a lot of time on their feet. So I'm going to leave this rubber block on just to give it a little extra thickness before we put uh, weight back on that toe. So now let's put this foot down and send her on her way. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Yeah, it's going to do it for today's video. So hey, behave. We will see you all 
on the next one.